This is Don Johnson, airbrushgallery.com with another little airbrush video, custom painting video. This time we're going to be talking about uh, helmets, which is what I do mostly, race helmets. This is a Bell GTX3 carbon fiber helmet with an attached wing. These are actually called PED kits. This one comes out of the factory this way, but awry um, helmets, for example, sell it separately. It's about a hundred bucks and it sticks to the helmet with two sided tape. This one has three screws. It comes off and I will be taking this off to lay the design out and putting it back on and making sure the design flows over this. So when I put it back on, a pinstripe look seamless, seamlessly and straight across the uh, PED kit or rear wing. When I take a helmet apart, everything goes immediately into a bag, all the screws and everything. If it has a Hans device, the posts go in the bag. It's just a, simply a bag from fine line tape, but this way I'm sure not to lose any of the parts. The bag then goes in the box the helmet came out of. Bottom trim on a helmet is a pain. I always take it off. Some are easier to get off than others. You just start it at the seam in the back with a hobby knife. It's a little hard to do at this angle. But you get the gist. You want to pull the inside of the trim out and roll it back against itself and carefully cut away at it until you get all the all the trim off. If you need bottom trim, bellracing.com. It's bellracing.com. Sells uh, trim for their helmets, but the rubber molding or trim will work on any helmet. So. That's bellracing.com. And the rubber trim around the visor, depending on um, what type of helmet it is, I always give people three choices, basic helmet design, a mid-level helmet design, and an advanced helmet design with three different prices. All three different prices have exactly what I'll do on the helmet, how many colors I'll use, etc., etc. And as you go up, the price goes up, of course. So on a low-budget helmet or a budget design or a basic design, I don't take the eye port trim off. It's just a pain to get off. It's harder than the bottom molding. The visor is going to go over this, and generally, if you do a good job taping it off, you'll have no problem. The problem you might have is getting tape to stick to rubber. Whether it's a wheel you're painting or uh, a rim you're painting on a motorcycle or a car where the tire is on it and it's not coming off, you need to paint it the way it is. Any rubber that you need tape to get st to stick to to mask it off, what I do is I just take a little bulldog on a rag and wipe it around the rubber. Let it dry for a few minutes, and the tape will stick to it beautifully. If I didn't do that, you're gonna, it's really hard to get the tape to stick to the rubber. So a little bulldog cures that, and it, it doesn't affect the rubber after you pull the tape off. It'll be fine. So that's a little trick I learned about getting tape to stick to rubber surfaces. Use a little bulldog adhesion promoter on it. Bulldog you can get at any automotive parts store. To scuff the helmet and get it ready for paint, I either use 600 wet sandpaper or a scotch brake pad. You don't want to scratch the helmet, you want to just scuff the helmet, knock the shine off, and provide microscopic scratches to get the paint to adhere. That's what the paint's going to adhere to. It's not a chemical reaction with just the surface 
It's the micro scratches in the surface that the paint's going to adhere to. So if you, no matter what you're painting, motorcycle, car hood, whatever, this is key to a good design and not getting your paint to lift, no matter what kind of paint you're using, is to uh, scuff it properly and clean it properly. And make sure that you scuff every little tiny area so that there is no shiny part left, so that the paint has no adhesion problems at all. To get the stickers off, I just use a straight razor blade and carefully pull them off. Pretty simple stuff. I hope you found this helpful. I'm working on a new website for all these videos. It's called It's Just Paint. It is just paint.com. It is just paint.com. All of my airbrush videos will be on there with a longer tutorial about each video, hopefully giving you a little more information. So I hope you check that out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's just paint. Have fun, relax. This is Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery. Until next time. Thanks.